Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Oh my goodness. Today we have a very exciting day planned. So Bora Bora is supposed to be like the top location in the world for snorkeling. We have a like a private powerboat tour. So like last time back on Morea, we had a little sailboat and that was really nice, really chill. But this is like a powerboat. So we're gonna oh, be going, going quick. Fast. We're gonna be moving around to the different oh. spots. It's just us two. So if we move quickly, we're gonna be able to see more than the average tour would. So breakfast was fantastic. What do you think, girl? Delicious, and I got a coconut. We got some coconuts to go. They just have coconuts out there with straws in them, so. Babe, this is just so beautiful. Also, one thing that's crazy is how empty this place feels. Granted, it's 8.30 a.m. and people are probably still sleeping in, but it really, like, half the time it feels like we have this place to ourselves. Our room is 4.30, there's gotta be at least 400 rooms here, and it just, it does not feel like it. All right, babe, adventure number one of the day. Just a minute, I'm hiding my coconut. The sun is not in the right spot to take a picture on the back deck right now. We're trying to hide it so the room service doesn't take it, so we can take a picture later on this afternoon. We have uh, about 13 minutes to get down there. It took us 12 minutes this morning. Hey, we should be wearing our, our Apple watches today. For real. Tracking these steps. This is the third trip we've made. We went down and back already, and now we're going down. We're gonna put in a couple miles today, and then we're gonna swim. So this is pretty incredible. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So we have this entire boat to ourselves. We've got four stops today. Eagle rays, manta rays, all types of trigger fish, butterfly fish, all kinds of stuff. We're going to coral gardens. We're going around the entire island. So we're starting here, starting at the Four Seasons. And we're gonna do an entire loop of the island. Yep. This is perfect. The manta rays were incredible. They are so majestic. Our next stop was the coral garden, and this was my favorite part because of the butterfly fish. number two what'd you think oh my god those little fish that was so amazing i just told trevor i was giggling underwater because they were so funny <laughs> and then when i would giggle i would get water all up my nose into my mouth but i couldn't stop laughing at them those little butterfly fish they swam with us the whole time now we've got some fruit some watermelon and melon and then we have chocolate cookies and banana cake oh my gosh Next up to spot number three, we were on the hunt for spotted eagle rays, and wow, did we find them. Oh 
On to our last stop, but the best one, if you like moray eels. best snorkeling we've ever done. I would do this every day while we're here. Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10, 100 percent. Best thing we've ever done. That was seriously such an incredible excursion. By far the best snorkeling we've ever done. It was worth every penny. And Nui was a big part of what made it so awesome. So if you guys are ever in Bora Bora and you go to a pure snorkeling tour, make sure to ask for the guide Nui. He said he'd hook you guys up. We did not apply any sunscreen the entire day. No. I'm really hoping we don't regret that because my skin feels like leather right now. Chelsea, we are going back and what are we gonna do? We are gonna get some lunch. My girl, we're gonna order some room service, chill out for a little bit in the AC, and then they have flower crown making, which you guys know she has been begging to do for the past week. I want it to hasn't even been a week, it. it's been the past four days, but it feels like a week because she's been complaining about it the entire time. So we're finally gonna go do that and uh, we'll see where the day takes us. Also, I mean, we were talking about it this morning. It's now at least like noon, maybe a little yeah. bit later, 1234, still not a soul around here. What is going on? Here. But yeah, like I'm, I'm thinking this afternoon, Chelsea, we could um, go, go hit the gym. So we just had to share this moment with you guys. This is perfection. Trevor this, can't I mean, stop this giggling. is heaven. I'm like, I'm, I'm literally giggling every time I look at it because this is so perfect. This is like the postcards you always see, yeah. the the stuff on TV. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I, I don't even know what to say. There's I just no like words, the, the thatched huts with the bright turquoise water, with the mountain in the background, the clear blue skies. This is unbelievable. I'm here with my best friend, and I just, I love it. Ooh, friend zone. Babe, this is just insane. I almost feel bad, like today was so awesome, but I almost feel bad leaving this place. Guilty, leaving the room. I, part of me feels like I never wanna leave this place. Can we just squat? Like how, how many days or weeks do you think it would take to get like a police force out here and physically remove us. Now we always want to keep it real with you guys. Yeah. Obviously things look pretty perfect so far, yeah. but there is a, a dark side to every good side, I guess. The, uh, the food prices are pretty crazy. So some examples here, tomato soup, 26 bucks, chips, salsa, and guac, 26 bucks. I think we're getting that. I'm going to get the bacon cheeseburger, which is $45. And then I think Chelsea's getting the carbonara, which is $45 as well. Now, you've got to keep in mind, we're at the Four Seasons. Of course, there's going to be an upcharge because it's one of the nicest hotels in the world. The other thing is, is we're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So everything has to come in by boat or by plane. They don't have like farms and stuff here. And then we actually saw today when we were on our excursion, we saw like the port. And <laughs> Those it's, two little red buildings. It's two red buildings, honestly, probably the size of this room. They yeah. were very small. And so all the food and everything that supplies the island is coming in through that. Obviously, some people probably have gardens on the island and whatever else, but it's not like they can have big, you know, beef farms and, and yeah, anything like that. No, like, so like pasta plants and rice out here. Like everything is coming in. That everything home. is imported. So that's kind of where that, that price comes from. Obviously, thinking about spending 45 bucks on a cheeseburger is a little hard to stomach, but when you think about how that cheeseburger had to be either flown or boated out to here, just like you were, then it kind of makes sense. Babe, I'm, I, I don't even know if I can wait for you. To be honest, this looks so bomb. Are you kidding me? So this is what she got here, the penne carbonara. It's got bacon and cheese and all that, you know, cream sauce goodness up in there. That looks good. Look at this burger. Oh 
my, that is a thick patty and that's a lot of bacon. And look at these shoestring fries. Oh, that is so perfect. We got, yes, shoestring fries, you heard that. I might give you some if you're nice. We've got our, our chips, we've got our salsa and our guacamole. Now I'm gonna be honest, I was, I was shipping everything until I saw this. 26 bucks for this. That seems kind of crazy. I'm gonna be, but I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, avocados! I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Looks like you got some bread with your pasta, oh and then God. they have a special. You can get six cokes for like forty bucks, and then six beers for fifty-five bucks. That's a coke smart. is normally eight dollars, and then a beer is normally eleven dollars. So if you buy them in bulk, which we'll end up drinking them, you save a little bit of money. <laughs> oh my gosh, girl! This is so I'm bad. still giggling and grinning. This is insane. So we just sat down. This burger looks bomb. I'm not gonna lie. Forty-five bucks. I'm, I'm gonna say it might be worth it. If it comes with this view, it's worth it. And How's your carbonara? Is so good. Is it? It's so good. Oh my goodness. We haven't really tried the the salsa and the guac yet. Actually, it looks like you did. Was the it good? Guac is the salsa is really good too. Okay. It's all good. Sweet. Oh my gosh. This is perfect. Local Inano Tahiti beer. She's drinking a Coke. Life could not be better. We are going to enjoy this for a minute and then head in and make some flower crowns. A few minutes later. To the flower crowns. I'm so excited. This girl has been begging for this for so long and now it's finally happening. Babe, Sorry. I'm going to make all your dreams come true this trip. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> There's a puppy at the end. Yeah, right. <laughs> Small update for you guys. We've got trouble in paradise. Somebody was walking barefoot along the uh, the pontoon, the wooden, and uh, I think we've got a splinter. We've got a it's hobbler like here. Really big, like a, I'm not being a baby. She's not being a baby. It's actually a pretty big splinter, and it's pretty deep in there. We're trying to make it to the flower crowns. We're gonna make a crown because that's like nothing else matters and then we'll take her hopefully to the doctor. I say hopefully because I'm not sure if they have like a doctor on site. I'm assuming they do, but if anything, we just need some like vinegar and if you soak your foot in it, it comes out. We just need that and a pair of tweezers. The flower crown making was great, but as time went on, my foot started getting worse and worse. We decided once the crown was done to head to the front desk and meet security for medical aid. Security's on the way. <laughs> my gonna, foot, my now dirty foot. Gotta come take care of it. There's like, <laughs> the cut and then there's the splinter like way oh yeah that's that's a good one that's what's hurting me that is a good one we gotta get that one out Ooh, you know what all the people with foot fetish that watch I us i don't want to talk about that right they now. were really into that section just right there oh yeah unfortunately this was one of those really bad splinters it just keeps breaking off and going deeper and deeper every time you touch it so even though chelsea was a trooper we did give up after about 45 minutes we went back to the room and it was time to enjoy the sunset before our polynesian dinner show please excuse me if you notice i'm walking with a hobble mr adventure man yes. You have no idea how silly you look. I just had to get this. Mr. Adventure Snorkel Man, Don't Scuba Steve here. Don't look at me. <laughs> you just popped up around the corner with your big old lip and your snorkel gear. Could you see anything down there? No. I think it's deep enough. I'm not sure. I'm giving you a day in my life. This is what it feels like to be the subject of the vlogs. How was the water? Good. Oh. Warm. Nice. What are you going to do now? Sweet. I'm what gonna do you jump think about again? it? <laughs> How was that jump? Rate yourself one through ten. I'm waiting for you to pop up with one of these and say, ow. I think tomorrow and the next day are gonna be a lot more focused around the room here. Tomorrow we're actually taking a boat over to Vaitape, which is the main town on Bora Bora. Yep. It's over on the other side of the mountain. 80% of the reason why we're going is because I wanna be able to drone. You can't drone from the hotel property. So we're gonna go do that. And then we're gonna come back, hang out here all day. And then the day after that, we I think we just have no plans. Just full day at the resort, hanging out, hanging out here. It's gonna be so much fun. So, so looking forward to that. For that. But I guess let's, uh, let's get ready for dinner. <laughs> The dinner show was awesome. You sit at huge tables with other resort guests and the food is served family style. We had a great night and met some new friends. It was the perfect way to end the evening.